ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the band our local group, the Moonlight Serenaders. his uh, civilian band's popularity and breaking up that orchestra at the height of his popularity there with that band in order to join the war effort. It's really quite remarkable what he did. But before that, uh, what he was doing with that civilian band in contribution to the war effort I think was really great. And the band did a lot of songs that were dedicated to the war effort. Now, there were a lot of gentlemen who were uh, quitting whatever they were doing. They were enlisting. They wanted to be involved in this. Some of them were lying about their age and, and uh, getting involved as well. And, uh, you know, you enlist, say, in the Army, like uh, the story of this particular tune that we're going to do for you right now. And, uh, you know, your mind was on exactly what you had in front of you to do. And your mind was also torn because of the girl back home, right? And uh, so uh, here you are, and you're stuck, and, uh, but uh, you're going to do it. So you start writing letters to your girl, and she start write, starts writing letters back to you, and uh, uh, that's a relationship for a while. And you're concerned that, uh, you know, she's being faithful, and of course we have a lot of tunes that are dedicated to that one. So here's one. The girl in this instance... Arabella. Dear Arabella.
my seventh year as being the music director and uh, we've done two studio recordings, thank you very much. Two studio recordings, one live recording, a lot of Glenn Miller classics are dispersed on all of those, a few rarities as well, so I'd love for you to check those out too. Uh, we also have a guy out there with some Glenn Miller Orchestra golf and t-shirts. And uh, if I could throw one more thing on the pile as I always like to do, I also have a CD. And it uh, features my voice uh, backed up by big band. I wrote this, uh, or I, I did this CD the year, uh, year and a half before coming out here on the road uh, as the music director. It's a lot of music that I, I grew up listening to when I was a kid, from Elvis Presley to Buddy Holly to Hank Williams Sr., Hank Williams Sr., uh, Nat King Cole, Cole Porter, uh, a lot of great stuff, but it's all done in this style and uh, with the big band, so I'd love for you to check that out if you so desire. All right, in 19, eh, I don't know when, 1938 or 1939, one, uh, Joe Garland sold in the mood to Glenn Miller. And uh, I'm quite certain that there would be someone in the room here who can tell me at the intermission exactly when it was. But of course, Glenn was known for taking out his pencil and marking up a lot of scores. Well, in the mood, he marked up quite quite heavily. It's really quite remarkable, uh, the things that he did, and I think it shows Glenn Miller's genius because it's kind of become the national anthem of the big band era, the swing era, in the mood. Everybody knows it. Everybody, everybody in the world knows it. And even, you know, when I meet people who are, you know, at a, at a restaurant, uh, we're with the Glenn Miller Orchestra, we don't know who that is. Uh, well, you know this song, and you hum a little in the mood, and they usually catch on. So they kind of know what we're talking about. So, big hit, right? In the mood. Big hit, 1939. But uh, I'm, I'm curious uh, if maybe someone else can come to me at the end. I know there are a good number of collectors in the room. If there's a recording of the original out there before Glenn got his hands on it. I hope there's not, because if there is, I'm going to be pretty aggravated. <laughs> Because we're going to play it for you right now. This is in the mood before Glenn got his hands on it. And you can hear bits and pieces of it as we go along. And you get to hear it the way that Glenn first played it with the band. And uh, like I said, let me know if there's a recording, but the best thing to do is not to. <laughs>
Eric's dad now, the tennis sounds of her. This great band, Good to the Lord, Mr. Good.